What's up? The drone of the drones the coming drone. to a theater near you. The <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I was at Petronelli's uh, Reimer Ranch near, uh, what do you call it, uh, Hamilton Pool yesterday. And there, I spotted two drones. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, guys just walking with their uh, iPhone snapped in mm -hmm. uh, to the controller and just uh, walking in back of their drone while they're you know, controlling it's, it. It's crazy, right? Yes, sir. Uh, Do you have one? Uh, I don't. Um, you thinking about getting one? You know, I my big tool right now is uh, nothing compared to this, but. Uh, iPad is still something that I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm doing a lot of photo images with the iPad, including uh, not, uh, I didn't carry it with me on this particular walk, but uh, uh, um, it is, I've realized, you know, it's fun to experiment with every tool as far as seeing the limitations or uh, the, the pluses or minuses of that particular tool. And uh, uh, certainly, um, the the control is probably one thing, but certainly, the uh, ultimate part becomes the video capturing mm -hmm. device. And yes, uh, uh, so uh, I know, you know, uh, I would I would love to have mm -hmm. access to okay. <laughs> yes, to um, the best. It would be fun seeing what the best tools are because apparently. Uh, these days, the uh, you know your your fo your phone app can actually uh, fly the drone essentially True. and keep it stable mm -hmm. and, and everything else. So um, yeah, I think my little sister has one like that. Really? Where like the the um, you buy the drone, but then the app is on the app store. Yeah. With the actual controller. So and uh, so this is. This uh, is a, can plug into it separately or oh. no? This is a DJI Osmo uh, Mini, so it's the same brand as that. That's a DJI Phantom Standard Three. Uh -huh. Um, like how they have like a gimbal on a camera, they yeah. basically did that but turned it upside down. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Made yeah. it smaller, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it looks like it's got. I see it moving slightly as as far as. It's calibration. As far, yeah, it's, it's gonna. Um, it's in first person mode, so it's gonna. The camera's gonna try to keep it like yeah. that. Yeah, that's um, cool. It also has like a face tracking mode. Uh -huh. So if like if I was like maybe standing in front of someone, like yeah. as they moved like about. Like South by Southwest uh, performer. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah um, it's uh, fun toys and uh, and tools. Uh, they're not on. They're not just toys anymore. You know, they're, no, sir. they're no, tools no. of the trade. And, uh, yeah, uh, God, can you imagine? Have you ever been to the Taos Gorge in New Mexico? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Is, yeah. it, is this a nice trail? I've never uh, been This, uh, it'll get you down to um, um, Barton Creek. The best place is a couple of uh, coves over. There's a RV, I think, parked in there. That one? Yeah, I, I did see that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and also at the front of that school uh, or church. I'm, I'm uh, seeing that as well. Um, they had a big pile of compost sticking <laughs> stuff there, uh, which is why I didn't park there. Normally, I would park about where that compost pile is and walk down because there's mm -hmm. a very fine trail. These are just, you know, trails. Uh, okay. Uh, just really... Uh, but that one actually has some steps put in and stuff like that. Okay. So, but does this one go to the water? Yeah, it'll take you down. Uh, it'll go, you know, zigzag back and forth. And if you go to the right, is the best. I think that's what they call Camel Hole, Camel's Hole, and which is, uh, you know, you can actually. There are places where you can actually cross the creek too because you can hop across the rocks. Okay. Okay. And uh, that'd be cool. But, to see. Uh, yeah, it's it's a beautiful and there's a beautiful cliff with some houses above. You know, it's just like Balcony's fault basically mm -hmm. is what you're seeing there. That <laughs> uh, you know, and uh, so it's kind of running right through um, parts of uh, Barton Creek. And uh, uh, anyway, yeah, 
but uh, yeah, it's uh, to the right is the best way to go. Is the best way to go. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. because you've got all these fingers of water and stuff and some rapids. You go to the left, it's just big pools. Okay, you know, just yeah, kinda, yeah. And so that's the most interesting part, right at that curve there. Yes, and, sir. Uh, okay. Right. So, so I'm gonna check out. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thanks for right. yes, sharing sir. the info. Yes, sir. With us. No way. My name is George. George. Yes, Jordan. Jordan. Yes, sir. James. James. Nice yeah. to meet you, James. Yeah. Yes, sir. I uh, actually sat, sat in on a uh, singer-songwriter thing at El Mercado this morning, and uh, noon, actually. Uh, and uh, it's weird. I volunteered uh, for the first South by Southwest in March of 1987, okay. <laughs> cool. and it felt weird being... Uh, uh, of course, that's, and I, I went and saw what began the festival, mm -hmm. which was singer-songwriters. That's what it was all about. And uh, it's blossomed into, uh, you know, so much, even uh, cannabis, uh, talks on cannabis and mm -hmm. legalization and all of this, which I'm just like, um, and John Boehner, a Republican dude, is is wanting to, he's actually promoting legalization. Uh, can you believe that? Uh, I'm just like floored uh, that you've got conservatives who are uh, mm -hmm. suggesting this. And the trick would be setting up a fund where all of, uh, you know, taxing on cannabis would go to a medical fund to uh, for health care for the patients in the state for people who can't afford it and education you know? yeah, yeah and education yeah. all of like that how they do the lottery. Like, what's that how they do the lottery like at the you buy the, the tickets at the gas station the lottery tickets yeah and how they like funds education yeah yeah and i mean why not use something medicinal and the legalization of a medicinal uh uh, plant to fund uh, health care. I mean, mm -hmm. it would be that a great, uh, you know, or even just the way technology, like Amazon, See, like Amazon makes, yeah. makes too much money. Yeah. Like, not they, no, they make, well, they should make more money, but it should be taxed. Uh, they, oh, yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll agree yeah. with that. Um, they make, uh, because Big money deserves big taxes, in my view. If, exactly, if the yeah. system is working so well for you, and you're using all of the infrastructure that taxpayers are paying for, exactly, then you should, by right, have to pay more taxes into the system to help fund and take care of the infrastructure that you're abusing in some cases. Exactly. You know? <laughs> because people make, like, all, all those companies run off the backs yeah. of people like you and me. Well, absolutely. Uh, and and like, I'm, we yeah, use the infrastructure I'm, as well to go uh, to work, not just for them to transport uh, it, you know? Exactly, exactly. So and, they should pay for it. And I, I agree. And uh, 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 we're, we've got so many things wrong with the system as it is. I mean, That's we right. need to stagger drive times for different uh work categories and so forth like automobile auto mechanics would probably go in at seven you know uh, yeah. uh schools would start at nine or nine plus and we're not living in an agrarian system anymore we need to stagger it so we have room on the freeways to deal with all of the population growth you know i mean there's other things that can be done to alleviate problems that we see without completely throwing more money at it just reschedule what the heck is going mm -hmm. on you know <laughs> I was, yeah i would send the freeways into like trains like, yeah just have trains like well um um it it and that's the other thing we've got a big divide between urban and rural and the thing is you can't apply the same ideas to rule as you do for urban and sure, uh sure. and uh i mean uh people in a community have to um take care of the community and in in the rural area people believe that it's independent and you know uh, you know that no nobody should be dependent on me or no one i shouldn't be dependent on anyone that i'm self-sufficient but mm -hmm. It's living a lie, but that's kind of...
kind of the belief in the rural mm-hmm. areas. I grew up there. I know. <laughs> I was taught, oh, be independent, you know, you, and don't ask anything from me. <laughs> you know, no, you know it, it, poor, uh, you know, my parents both spoke, uh, spoke uh, Polish, yes, you know, not Spanish or, you know, some of these other. And, you know, they lived uh, and they came into Texas after the Civil War, you know, and it's like, uh, so, um, and we had outhouses, latrines, and a windmill for water supply, and raising our own cows and stuff. You what know? part of Texas is it? Uh, Brenham. Brenham. Okay. Yeah. Brenham. And, I feel like uh, I've heard of that. I'm from yeah. Houston. Yeah. Well, Brenham is almost midway between Houston and Austin okay. on 290. Blinn College, Bluebell Ice Green. Green. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. <laughs> it's yeah. got a lot of bees going on. Yeah. <laughs> right and uh, okay. blue bonnets uh but anyway um so yeah um that's where i grew up and uh but big austin's polish really big polish community not I really know. i grew up polish in a uh, german community german so there community. was okay they had their own little clique and oh polish they don't belong here <laughs> you know the same shit yes, that sir. you hear these days that it used to be that way with ethnic groups you know such as polish and the French. irish and yeah, no, german yeah. and yeah french mm-hmm. and so forth because i have a, my great-grandmother was polish and my great-grandfather was irish and then well and then my dad's mexican but that's on my mom's that's right. on my dad's side right. and then my mom's side is like the irish and the polish yeah and then i don't know what her dad is, it, is. yeah you, you almost have the appearance of Mid Eastern, and I'm. I hope you don't mm. take offense to that, but uh, mm. uh, you're, people you're, have said that, like uh, Cat Stevens or somebody like this. I don't, uh, a wonderful musician from the past, anyway. Uh, but uh, anyway, and he. Uh, well, anyway, uh, that's uh, you get back to music and all of that. But uh, yeah, the thing. Um, um, uh, yeah, so there. There's a lot of similarities that people don't realize. I mean, people kind of congregate in uh, communities for safety and security and that whole, you know, for, uh, for finances and everything else. It's, you know, and, uh, but, um, you know, there's what, what, so the, the politics of a community, a city, is completely different from the politics of rural. Mm-hmm. You know? And Texas is so and, much involved. Especially, and it is so big hugely rural and you've got these i mean we're but the cities are going to outstrip or outstep the rural at some point Um, the cities are just developing because like el paso like mccallan um i mean like or even like the whole valley like all those places like really i heard some uh thing on npr about mccallan uh, recently and uh, i had friends from del rio who got married there and stuff uh, I haven't been there in God decades, but um, uh, anyway, uh, I'm not. Uh, McKellen is Brownsville has always been on the map. McKellen is. Uh, it sounds like it's an up and coming, uh, force to be reckoned with. Uh, you it's know, population. 20 years from now, mm-hmm. it'll be. It'll be sh- uh, pushing some clout as far as what's going oh, on. Sure. Yes, sir. Yeah. The, the Gulf Coast? Yeah, al- along the Rio Grande. Yes, okay. You know, uh, and that's the thing. What needs to happen right now, mm. all the cities along the Rio Grande need mm-hmm. to join force like the and, make a, the yes, and make a standard, standardized definition of what they want True. to happen. I thought, yeah. Because uh, the- you, you, that's like 5 million people along the yeah, Rio Grande. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, it's a lot of people. And it's weird how, like, the the cities are, like, split by, like, the border Mm -hmm. and, like... Well, that, uh, the the trick would be creating kind of, like, malls at at the border where you could... Cross? You would, uh, where the trading would be right there as far as leather goods. I mean, why hasn't someone started up a leather goods company out of Mexico and imported into Mm -hmm. Texas and call it Teos Boots or something, you know? (laughs) I mean, why, why, what the fuck? Nobody's, there's so many, I mean, we could put tons of people to work on the other side of the border with startups, 
I mean, mm -hmm. you know, Mexican startups, you know, homegrown Mexican startups. Yeah. I mean, with the help of the internet, it could happen. They, should, yeah. they just need you know. an infrastructure. Yeah, That's really yeah. What they, they, like they need a far net. An infrastructure. Nobody's done it. Nobody. We're we're living in embryo times. It's like uh, it's like you know you is, have to yeah. have you have to be prepared for the opportunity when it arises. And right now, border has to arise to the occasion, and that includes. I'm talking. Those cities should be ninety percent determining what's going to happen with the border. Mm -hmm. Not not the D.C. government, yeah, not exactly. the Austin government. Mm -hmm. You know, the border exactly. cities should People be who it affects. Who who it affects directly, exactly. and uh, you've got to keep commerce open. Uh, you know, yeah, create instead of creating a wall, build a mall. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> Think yeah. about it. Think about it. Uh, that makes a more massive sense. structure. Yeah, that like, or you could actually go. I mean, and you go, wow, that, oh gosh, you know, be scared because of, you know, terrorists and all of that. But uh, I, I think we have the capability of being able to track people these days exactly. with modern technology. I'm sorry, just have facial enough recognition and everything else. Yeah. I mean, you could have robots roaming, uh, checking uh, people's phones and everything else, knowing everything that's going on, mm -hmm. just roaming down the the hall, or hell, just has checkpoints everywhere. Where, I mean, or kind of like the it. airport, like yeah. how you kind of like have to like cross past yeah. the line, which is like the TSA. Yeah, yeah. Like you go into this zone. Yeah, you, know you go into saying? the zone. You with want your to cross goods the that you want to sell. buy something. Or sell. You go with empty carts and come back with carts filled. You know, and uh, or even pick it up back on the other side. Mm -hmm. You know, you see what I'm saying? You yes, could, sir. Exactly, yeah. The, the, uh, you don't, yeah. It's like. It, it should be. You see what? Yeah. You see, we, we don't, don't it, need to have this border. Just a non, a, a rigid border. We don't need that. We mm -hmm. don't. We can, we can work around it. I really believe that. I mean, it's some just, places you might have to have it. Uh, uh, but I, I'd say let's not do any more than we've already got without reconsidering what we need. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, in other words, I'm not saying, okay, we need to tear down everything that's already there. I'm saying okay. let's not spend any more money on it until we decide what the hell needs mm -hmm. to happen. And then once we come up with a plan, a, a agreeable plan of all of the communities along the Rio Grande, then we make our statement, we make our mission, and we execute, you know? I feel, I mean, I feel as long as, as long as, like, the, the Mexico, the Mexican government is as corrupt as it, like, is, like, in the sense that the United States government is corrupt, but it's not as corrupt as theirs, their people are going to want to come over here, yeah. and then, like, until, like, that problem is fixed, I feel like they're always going to well, need, like, maybe a physical border, just, like, to establish the I, I, the idea of like maybe rule of law like over two sets of land and like where but mm. I feel like yeah. until like I feel like yeah. once it's fixed because like in the EU they don't have that you know what I'm saying because yeah. all those people have like a collective agreement like in understanding but like the the differences in like the government between the United States and like Mexico is like so different that like mm -hmm. they need that border like in Canada well, like it's really not like that like there might be like a fence but it's not like it's um, not that pronounced. Like it's a, it's probably like something like this well, that you can just walk past. Um, it, it is, um, it's unusual. Um, I mean, basically, at some level, uh, you you do have to have some concern that. Uh, not only Mexico, but the entire Central and South America has people who are looking for a better life. And, um, and that's the first thing that you have to acknowledge is that if people... But give them had, a better life, but where they live. There you go. Help they need them infrastructure. do startups yeah. there. But the trick is um, I just like how, how you... Up. How you uh, offer your goods and services and it's not by giving a clump 
of money to a government head. No, 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 no. You have to supply it at a community level. Yeah, go out there and like hit like hand out shovels a, and like at build a roads. Dot org, you know, yeah. a nonprofit uh, way of distribution. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and uh, that's what needs to happen. Um, and it could all be done on the internet, where it's no, nah, it know, wouldn't work through the internet. You'd have to walk up to people and like, well, uh, and like hand them like shovels and like give them money well, like for a day's work, so then they can buy food for lunch. And then, but then you yeah. also supply the like, like the food for the well, the lady that yeah. cooks the food in the community, and like so she'll make money. You know what I'm saying? Selling food, and then the person that sells like boots to the guy in the community, like. I don't know. I feel like it has to work like that. It can work through you the know, government. Cause, yeah. I mean, through See, the internet. I mean, yeah. through, like, to be able to like attain this. Right. Yeah. This is mine. Okay, I'm just checking if I'm somebody. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Looks like yoga time. <laughs> Enjoy it. Um, so, uh, yeah, anyway, I probably need to get busy. But, uh, yeah, there's... Um, um, the thing is, there's there's tons of potential and ideas out there that are, I think a lot of people uh, we keep reverting to the same, uh, throwing the same solutions at the uh, uh, similar problems over and over, and uh, uh, I think part of it is how we distribute, um, you know. Uh, income and wealth and and uh, uh, how we value people's services or you know uh, what they yeah and uh, uh, so um, I mean it's we're at a point where um, um, it, what I think what it amounts to in a uh, urban environment it resorts to more of a centralized and socialized uh, uh, base whereas in the rural areas it's it's much more deliberately divided and independent and all of that and uh, you know uh, in somehow uh, cities determining their future should not be dependent on what the federals, uh, the federales want or what the, the state uh, heads want. I mean, there has to be some self, um, what's the word for it? Uh, 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 dev, uh, divination. In other words, okay. self uh, uh, determination of of what that mm-hmm. particular community needs. Like the people in the community decide the, the future yeah. of the community and, and no one and, else uh, decides for them. Yeah. And uh, so if, if there are clumps okay. of money coming into them, they should be somehow... Um, there's the other part. Uh, they, they should... And I think it, somehow our distri- dis- distribution of, of monies, you know, especially when it all goes into a pot to DC by the time it comes back if it comes back you know it's it's already picked through mm-hmm. so much and it and you know maybe it should be working the other way I don't know it, it just seems like uh, um, yeah it, I don't know uh, 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 anyway uh Electric. Yeah, you can't even hear it. I know, isn't that sweet? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, all of this stuff, you know, I mean, back in the 70s and stuff, it was all, you know, the whole thing about being able to walk around with a cell phone. Like in mid 70s, they were showing this thing like this big that you could, you know, with an antenna. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's great. Uh, yeah, things have uh, really popped over the years, as far as uh, and. Uh, but uh, I need to get have fun with your. Yes, sir. Uh, Thank you. Drone and. Uh...
Yeah. You have a good day, sir. <laughs>